It's the last try to kill Kanji. <laughs> it's like, I can't believe you killed someone as she tries to kill someone else. <laughs> <laughs> that might be the intro. <laughs>it is another fine day in the year of the ascent oh, gosh darn it it's the next to last month in the year of the ascent toon link dave anomaly the anomala cars few know me as the funk of forty thousand years but to most i am the united states Avery. welcome back to another episode an ordeal of the don gone rampa hunger games and as i turn my sheet over to the tag team retribution list i have to ask you guys how you doing in this hunger games friday we are not just starting off the next to last month of the year but it is also aviation history month it is the month of the aviator as given by who knows come just decided that this was that month but boy am i going to ride out on it <laughs> And today, we have the teams that are most likely to be your frequent flyers. That is right. It is frequent flyer tag team action. And we start off with the Chunibyu family, Sonya, princess, flying all the time. And Fischl's got Oz and the wings. You, you know that she's out here flying left and right. The jacket failure is Kaito. He's a spaceman. Of course he's out here flying. And Kanji, cross-dimensional sisters, Katoko, master of the dark arts, and Hilda. The second hand symphony sees Miss Maya and Makoto. Where's my glove with Kurumi and Mai? Eye for an eye, we see Fuiko and Dimitri, the unstoppable idols. You know Saik is flying to show to show with Miss Iris, probably doing the very same. Well, maybe not doing the same thing. She's probably just streaming out here. Rock on Ibuki. We've seen Shinyan travel, but she hasn't traveled by air, to my knowledge. But if she could, I bet you she would. Hashtag spoiled. Probably have private jet for Togami. Shorty sleepover. We see Miss Kana and Miss Crazy Hiyoko, the one managers, Kanan. And we see Yukiko. The robotic club is back. Kazuichi and Kibo to be me with Shihiro and Naoto. The obsessive siblings, Corey's gotta travel all over the place. As well as Child. Aiko, it's kitchen. She's gotta go <laughs> she's gotta go all over the world to find herself the finest of ingredients in this kitchen. Kai's trap Kai, Kai's the real reason why they're here. Ara, Ara, Miss Mew, and Miss Lisa. Venti, he's he's flying out here for Liar Liar, let's be completely honest. A fairy's guide to everything magical. They have wings! They can legit fly! <laughs> the KPA with Kizakura and Yui watching the world burn with Monokuma and Midori. Thank goodness he's in this simulator. Cat Owners Paradise, Celeste and Jin. Uh, Sinister Side, Miss Chisa and Miss Sarah. Golden Days are here again. Fatogami and Izioi. The Pawn Shop, Mitarai and Mukuro, Dinner and a Show, Teru Teru and Dante, Joe Mama, with Joe and Mama, <laughs> seeking, Roko, seeking Justice with Taka and Doji the Apothecary with Seiko and Sucrose, Devious Disguise as Samugi and Ranger, Identity Crisis, Hajime and Marie, Carry On, with Shuichi and Kazuha is out here flying left and right for me if I'm being completely honest, Shatter Machine, Leon, has to fly from game to game, and of course Ningguan will be flying, and of course the Hunter Heroes, Pennyworth and Taichi, that is a lot of folk. And in just one game, as I take a swig of water, you tell me who you got. Tell me right now, who do you have? Who? I don't know who you said. But you must have written him in a comment, right? Because I can read, I just can't hear what you're saying right now. Like, I can read fantastic comments like this one, and that one. And that one, but you yell on the screen, it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's like a, a barrier. I can't cross that barrier, but your comments can. So make them first, second, and third. Which teams do you got? I gotta make my picks too. I have not had a great season for picks. <laughs> I'll be frank. Um, although, you know, technically maybe you could consider uh, yesterday being a win, right? Right, maybe. <laughs> Give me, um, man, I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, give me a fairy's guide to everything magical for first. Yeah, I'm here for that. Give me watching the world burns for a second, and then lastly, give me, you know what, back to back, give me the apothecary. I got Seiko and Sucrose for third. What did I add? <laughs> okay, so here's, 
here's um just a little insight. I usually add something to the simulator. Test it real quick by having teams just having either a new item or a new perk or making that uh or if it's not like a what's something that I can put on. I just make it extremely high likelihood that it shows up. I did that and I don't remember what I put in. <laughs> I don't know, it's something, it's something, it's something flying theme. You might see it. <laughs> It'll be here all month. It's also Thanksgiving month, so you know, this is gonna have a good time. Oh! There's a glutton perk in here now. That, there's something else too, but that, I'm not gonna spoil everything. There's a couple new things, and a couple things that just still haven't shown up. However, we got a big game, so we might see a lot of that new stuff come up. We have a really big game. We were having, like, a, a big game. We have a lot of teams, if I'm being completely honest. This is the biggest tag team action ever this season. So, we shouldn't dilly or dally. We should just go ahead. We should just start round one, and we should proceed to see. Dojima starts off very dangerously, but you know who else is starting off dangerously? The Horns. So if y'all would please sound them, sound those horns. I gotta stop doing this before I fall out of my chair, but I do hear him. Don't even find the shotgun, he starts thinking about the damage he can do. He could do some damage with that ranger. Twitch is uncontrollably this, so it doesn't care much for this place. Kokichi is looking for, some dumb, uh, for someone dumb enough to believe him. Maybe Venti? Tag team partner, maybe not. Fat Togami doesn't understand why Izioi searches for junk when Fat, to uh, Fat Togami can simply buy it. He's like, tag team partner, you must buy your way to victory. That is how we did it. <laughs> Fat Togami feels protected by his wealth. Yukiko twiddles with her thumbs. Izioi spots them, uh, something shining in the distance. Kazuichi ambushes Crazy Yoko and murders him. Kazuichi's like, I'm on retribution. I don't want to be there. I want to be in the finale. Kanan wishes he could go home. Hilda picks up whatever looks neat and cool lying in various places. Paimon's, uh, and Usami's fingers touched by accident. They blush just a, a little bit. They're, they're like, oh, hello, hi, how do you do? <laughs> a fairy magic, fairy magic. Taka kills Dimitri in front of Fuiko. Fuiko rushes to help, but Dimitri dies in his arms. You hate to see that. Kaito just wants to be helpful. Shiro, gosh darn it! <laughs> Robotics Club can't catch a break! Cheryl wonders if, she, if he should build a machine that makes Yaki Niku. Crazy Yoko trips and falls in a really bad way, breaking her neck. Fuiko stops quietly. Kotoko does something really cute. Fischl mopes around uselessly. Sarah attacks Kibo and Kazuichi from behind, killing them. Chisa, that's something else that was added that I forgot about. But it's best meant as a surprise, so I won't tell you. Chisa seems unshaken by any of this. Aiko really hopes she doesn't have to harm anybody. Kizakura gives Yui various things that he's found. Yui builds something cool out of it. It's soothing to watch Yui make neat contraptions from those scraps. Yui's thinking of plans to get out of here while she's just scrapping around. Ibuki thanks Shinyan for being there for her. Monokuma twitches uncontrollably. Taichi can't help but admire his own genius mind. Midori is looking for someone dumb enough to believe him. Kanan sabs, uh, sobs quietly. Venti twiddles his thumbs. And Kanji really doesn't want to. I really wish he didn't do it, <laughs> if we're being completely honest. Finds himself having to get rid of Seiko. Pennyworth has had enough. He's mad. <laughs> Celeste walks into a very strange machine designed to view a world unseen, and now she's got ghost powers. Marie attempts to kill Taichi, but Pennyworth intervenes just in time. The member of the squad had to take out Marie to protect Taichi's life. Marie's already in that rumble, though, so you know, it's not that bad. Shuichi spots him to shine in the distance. Naoto tries to kill Mitarai, but Mitarai retaliates and kills her instead. Look at Mitarai. He's trying to get himself some love here. Shinyan. Can't stop fawning over Ibuki. Kazuha attempts to kill Chisa, but Sarah intervenes to protect her. Unfortunately, Sarah dies in the attempt. Will Chisa live on for one half of Sinister Side? Maya tries to build a tank out of sticks and rocks. It's useless, but it looks cool. Samugi is only looking out for herself. Sarah, you, I'm sorry, Sayaka finds a slingshot. How quaint. Might be useful in a pinch. Usami is being adorable as always. Makoto duels out with Midori. You don't know this man's luck. You, you don't you don't know his luck. Uh, <laughs> Midori, you should have you should have ran for the hills. Mew finds a rat in a cave and feeds it from some fruit. More rats show up because of this. Mew feeds them all, and now she has an army of rats at her disposal. Oh, that's dangerous, ain't it? 
A well-placed shot by Saika with her slingshot hits Teru Teru right, smack dab center in the forehead. He's dazed. Mai finds a dapper suit, puts it on. It's really good. It's a good suit on her. It's a good fit. Sukor doesn't feel prepared for any of this now. Hajime thinks about Marie Sops quietly. Leon doesn't understand what's happening. Kai's determined to survive this. Ningguang feels protected by her wealth. Oda hits on Togami, but she finds it suspicious. Sonya's ready to defend her friends. Kurumi sees, where's my glove? There's a bunch of chumps to be milked, although you guys won <laughs> in the biggest game of the season. Child looks for someone dumb enough to believe him. Jin does his best to avoid Celeste, but that's the cat owner. You, you're, you're the cat <laughs> dog, boy. <laughs> Iris and Sayaka's fingers touched by accident, they both blushing quite a bit. Mukuro is now Cave Mukuro. Date picks up over, looks neat and cool, lying in various places. Mitrai wants this to be over already. Roko whispers something in Joe's ear, but Joe's a bit too innocent to understand. And then he realizes what it is and just stares into the distance. So we lost 10. 10 of our 66 today. So, first and foremost, can we please get a Clear Day Loom 4? Corey. In this house. Dimitri. Crazy Hiyoko. Kiba. Kazuichi. Seiko. Murray. Naoto. Sarah. Midori. You hate to see it. You truly do. However, we still have 56 whole people left. And as I remind you to stay hydrated, hit that music. Because we still got a game to get through. 56 are left. Who will come out on top? I don't know. But I will say, we can click your next round and we'll see who won't come out on top because we see some gold down there. And it's, pan it's golden brown pancake. Oh my gosh. <laughs> round two has begun. Aiko hopes to have the harmony body. Maya attacks Joe from behind, strangles him. Shinya looks around for stuff to scrounge. Mew can't take her eyes off of Lisa. Hilda's had enough. Hilda's now enraged. Paimon accidentally knocks herself and Usami into a pit of spikes. <laughs> Usami. Get your partner in check. <laughs> Kurumi and Mai get into an argument over who should be in charge. Kazuha, we see a whole bunch of gold down here. Uh, picks up Rebel looks neat and cool, uh, lying in various places. Kizakura challenges Hajime and Togami to an anything goes pancake eating competition. Well, let me tell you what Togami does. He's like, you know what? I've had enough of being in the world, uh, in this, in these games, first of all, without being the one holding gold. He murders Hajime, he murders Kizakura, and he finds himself on this list of World Pancake Championship Invitational Entrants, and he's gonna be one of the last ones because this match is happening soon. Very soon. Sooner than you know. But Togami will be in it. And someone else will be in it right after this, and let me tell you, it is an interesting, interesting entry. Leon admires his own, I'm sorry, admires Ningguang's decisiveness, actually. I, I admire that too. Liko snaps out of it. Jin starts sobbing uncontrollably. Jin poor, but someone get, this, someone get that man as a tissue. Togami attacks both members of the secondhand symphony, slaughters them both, rest in peace. Monokum was frenzied. Uh-oh. Taka challenges Leon and Ranger to an anything goes pancake eating competition. That is the pancake champion challenging two souls but ranger eats the most pancakes and earns entry does that mean could that be foreshadowing ranger beating taka in pancake action i don't know very soon you might find out Sumugi seems unshaken by any of this a well-placed shot by saika she's dazing everyone out here saika is dazing everyone sonya's dazed kai is looking like he's on the verge of snapping something inside of Chisa drives her to fight for what she believes in. She's heroic now. I need a hero. So does Kurumi because Date kills Kurumi before Maya can react. <laughs> Vinci does something really cute. Hiroko doesn't care much for this place. Saika gathers ammo for that slingshot because she's dazing left and right. Kanan isn't sure whether to cry, laugh, or tear her hair out. Her hair out. Doji massages muscles. Mai has a blank expression and seems unresponsive to what's going on. Kaito's ready to defend his friends. Oh, that is shiny. And I see something even shinier below. Toko, uh, Kat uh, Katoko finds medieval armor. Ningguang feels protected by her wealth. Iris doesn't really understand what's happening. Oda's glad he can rely on Togami. Sucrose wonders about the future. Kana, 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 Kana. Wants to end things once and for all with freaking Saika. And she does it. 
But not just, she doesn't just do it. She does it in a particularly, uh, particularly, uh, glorious fashion. Glorious. You get out there, Connor. You win this game. You win it for the good people. You do it. I believe. <laughs> Yui wonders if she should build a machine that makes Yaki Nuku. Mukuro is wearing leather scraps as a sight to behold. Ibuki does something real cute. Kandi tries to kill Katoka, but that knight's armor is doing work. Taichi is thinking complaints to get out of here. Shuichi looks around for stuff to scrounge. However, Fat Togami disappears for a while, and that man is now decked out in the most wizard of robes. Chihiro tries to kill Fat Togami, but the wizard robe carries him away to safety. Yukio gets mauled by wild animals. <laughs> the official's just been moping this whole game. Kokichi and Venti attack Mai from behind, murdering her. Yikes. But there's more yikes below. As Izzy picks up her looks neat and cool lying in various places, Pennyworth realizes that his anger is unwarranted. He was enraged before, but you know what? Now he's calmed down. He's taking a step back. He's like, you know what? All this anger really ain't worth it, is it? Lisa tries to kill Shuichi, but Shuichi retaliates and kills her instead. Rest in peace to the to the electro eye lady. <laughs> the ranger <laughs> attempts to kill Kanji, but Kaito intervenes to protect him. Unfortunately, Kaito dies in the attempt. Rest in peace to him. Unless I want a mushroom or something happens. Mitra, I wish she could go home. Celeste shoots a blast of energy because I forgot she's half ghost at Togami, and Togami survived the blow. And Child is looking for an easy out. But I'll tell you, 14 people just found an easier out than he did. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a clearly Loon 4. Joe, 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 Paimon, Usami, Kizakura, Hajime, Maya, Makoto, Kurumi, Sayaka, Yukiko, Mai, Lisa, Kaito, Togami. And so we will continue, shortly. Do you want to check? No, we're not. We're not even halfway through yet. We'll check next round. Next round, we'll check who's left. But for right now, we got to get to next round. How do we do that again? Oh yeah, we clicked the words, the, the next round words at the bottom of the... Of course we do. Of course we do. Of course we do. And now we see that people are mad and people are frenzied at the start of round three. Hiroko, mama's mad. <laughs> Taichi asks Penny, I cannot wait for Don Rampa S because I like Hiroko a lot. She's one of my like, yo, this character is underrated. Let's get some more Hiroko. And they're giving me for more Hiroko, and I'm like, let's go. Taichi is asking Pennyworth if he's found anything useful in a fit of frenzy. <laughs> he found something that's not so useful, death, because Monokuma creeps up on Pennyworth and slaughters him. Oda doesn't care much for this place, Kai sets down a trap and Fischl is moping around and she gets caught in immediately. Makoto's gone. Ranger's on the verge of snapping, Child twiddles his thumbs, Katoko finds a heaping stack of pancakes. That should last for the whole game, oh this ought to be good. <laughs> Fuiko catches a strange glow in the corner of his eyes, oh it's an ancient scepter, this ought to be good. <laughs> Kokichi. Tries to kill Fantogami, but the wizard robe is carried on my way to safety. Venti sobs quietly. Yui can't help but admire her own genius mind. Shuichi finds a one-up mushroom. Oh, this ought to be good. <laughs> he can give someone else another chance at life. Kazuha spots something shiny in the distance. Mukuro feels like Mitarai is slowing her down. Mukuro got rid of Mitarai. Girl, that's your tag team partner. What are you out here doing? Sucrose. Feel sorry for Fischl and freeze her from the trap. That's some Genshin helping some Genshin. The Genshin gang. Aiko doesn't feel prepared for any of this. Samugi finds a handgun with just enough bullets to be useful. Will she use it though? We'll have to wait and see. Date won't die like the others. Kanji feels strong enough to handle anything, even carrying the burden, even taking your tag team partner to victory. Chisa patrols vigilantly, ready to defend those that she loves. The last person that was heroic here won the title. Could Chisa win today as well? Dojima reloads his shotgun just in case. Mew really doesn't want to, but finds herself having to get rid of Sonya, rest in peace to her. Ningguang feels protected by her wealth. Leon fails to grasp the gravity of the situation. Iris does something really cute. Izzy Oi tries to kill Katoka, but the knight's armor diverts the blow. She's also got pancakes. Teru Teru uh, comes back to his senses. Good on him. Shinyan thanks Ibuki for being there for her. Jin does his best to avoid Celeste still. They've been avoiding each other like this whole game. Kanan thinks about Yukiko and stops quietly. Uh, Kana 
find some other scratchings now, she's a cave girl. Chiro builds a device that might revive Naoto, it doesn't do anything, but hey, it looks cool! <laughs> I love, I love the variants in here, they're like, oh, it might do this, but uh, not so much. Ibuki, uh, finds a dapper suit, puts it on, it's really fetching. Taka, ambushes Aiko, kills her. Fatsugami shakes sparkles from his wizard sleeves onto Shuichi, transforming him into a sheep. Shuichi had this one-up mushroom, I don't even think he can use it right now. Celeste can't wait to kill again, and Hilda grumbles. We only lost four this time. So after this, Clarity Loon 4. Pennyworth. Mitarai. Sonya. Aiko. That brings us to 38, and we might as well check who's left. We had a big old game. We're almost to half. The unstoppable idol still have Iris. The unstoppable force has been defeated, but Iris could still carry on for them. Sinister Side still has Chisa. Watching the world burn still has Monokuma. Rock on! Completely in! The one manager still have Kanan, seeking justice, Taka, and Dojima. The Chunibyu family still have Special. Obsessed with siblings with Child, Aiko's Kitchen with Kai. To be me is Chihiro trying to be him. Robotics Club is completely out, unfortunately, but the pawn shop remains with Mukuro. Shadow Machine is doing surprisingly well, still completely in. The commentator's curse? Maybe, maybe not. Would love to see Ning Wong pick up a win. Shorty Sleepover sees Kana carry on completely in as well. Oda remains for hashtag spoiled dinner and a show completely in as well. They haven't had too crazy of a season, but let me tell you, Teru Teru knows his way about he knows his way around tag team action. He really does. He does. He does. He does. Oh, I could add end events for this. Oh, I could easily do that. And make them a super low chance. I could easily do that. Could easily do that. Alright. Uh, where's my glove is out? Uh, I for an eye stars Fuyiko, Hiroko has Joe Mama. KPA stars you with devious disguises and cat owners paradise completely in. Sucrose for the Via from the Apothecary. Hunter heroes have Taichi, Ara Ara with Mew. Golden Days completely in, trying to have that same moment that they had last season. Kokichi and Venti for Liar Liar. Cross dimensional sisters completely in, and Kanju remains for the jacket failures, but it is time to proceed. Those are your 38. We gotta get down to just one. And second and third, because you know, retribution. But let's see who gets going. Oh goodness gracious. Round four begins with Kotoko saying, Look, I know what it's like to be a sheep. Sometimes it ain't that great. Decides to put Shuichi out of his sheepy misery. Pour one out for the homie. Yui finds a shiny red balloon. This place is, huh. This is such a dangerous place for such a <laughs> poppable entity. <laughs> Sumugi aims her handgun in the distance. Usami's gone. Something inside of Supro. Su and now she is heroic as well. Jin can't believe that Celeste has killed someone. You should. You should probably believe that. Jin. You should. You should believe that one. Iris has had enough. She's now enraged. Chisa patrols villagely, ready to defend those that she loves. Leon admires Ning Wong's decisiveness. Still, he's like, "Dang, girl, you know how to make a decision." <laughs> Terra Terra wants us to be over already. Taka uses the title belt to hit Ning Wong from behind, leaving them dazed. Goodness gracious, his pancake championship is coming in handy. Shinyan is ready to defend her friends. Taichi wonders if he should build a machine that makes Yaki Niku, and now we see a whole bunch of orange. Kai sets down a trap. Mew challenges special to a duel. Mew bites the dust. You cannot beat the princess. And then we see Dojima firing his shotgun at Terry Terry, but he dodges all of those bullets. Ranger finds a lovely bikini puts it on. It's quite revealing. Mukuro tries to kill Fatogami. I'm sorry, but Fatogami tries to bribe her. Mukuro leaves the arena, a very rich woman. She's like, well, <laughs> I guess I'll leave. The you have a nice day, Togami. I got myself a little wealth. Venti gets caught in one of Kai's traps. What a stupid mistake. He should have known better. He could have flown over it. All he can do is hope to be freed. Kazuha finds a grenade. <laughs> You better be careful with that, sir. Hiroko can't wait to, uh, I'm sorry, can't handle the stress after losing a teammate. She's become... more cowardly. Child looks for someone dumb enough to believe him. Izzyoi picks up her looks neat and cool lying in various places. Ningguang, she snaps out of it. She was like, I was dazed, but my senses, they're back. Kanji tries to kill Fat Togami, but the wizard robe has carried him away to safety. Date spots something shiny in the distance. Kana finds a plank of wood. Wait. No, that's, uh... Seesaw. Okay, Kana. Uh, I guess you're dangerous. Fuiko polishes into that ancient scepter, making the magic war shine. 
Hilda realizes that her anger is unwarranted and also calms down. We love to see people calm down, because that anger can kill you. Kana, her bad brain saps her will to live. Kokichi sees Liar. Liar is a bunch of chumps ready to be milked. It is just you and one other person, Kokichi. K Togami's gone. Chiro. He's thinking of plans to get out of here, but Oda tries to kill Ranger. You shouldn't have done that, because Ranger knows what he's doing in these games. Ranger is taking out Oda. Monokuma looks around maniacally, seething, and Celeste draws a demon summoning circle on the ground, you know, for fun. For fun, we're almost halfway through. But it is indeed first time for a Clay Day Loom 4. Shuichi. Mew. Mukuro. Oda. And we got a couple big items in play. We got scepters, we got shotguns. We got pancakes. Couple big items. Could we see some more big items? I don't know. Do you want to see some more? I don't. I don't know if you do. But we might, and I think the only way to find out if we do is if we just go ahead and proceed. We still got plenty of people to get through. We're not even halfway through. We're about to be halfway through. <laughs> Round five begins with Date trying to kill Ningguang, and Ningguang tries to bribe him. Date takes the money and then kills Ningguang anyway. Date, that's a little bit rude. I think you should have taken the the lovely woman's offer. C6 Ningguang, we love to see that, but well, we don't love to see her dead. Uh, Sabuki's looking out only for herself, and we see a big, a big old list of orange real quick. Sucro scanning the arena looking for, uh, any enemies lurking about, Fish will still moping around. Kanan sees this opportunity and gets rid of her. Child has had enough, he's enraged. In a fit of frenzy, Monokuma creeps up on Kanan, turns her inside out. You should have been watching out for those Monokuma units. Dojima eats something you shouldn't have, dies of horrible stomach pains. It was probably Nanako's cooking. Chihiro can't help but admire his own genius mind. Iris is so mad. Steam is literally coming out of her little cat ears on top of her head. Causes a fire, trapping, killing Fuhiko and Izioi in its flames. Taka reminisces about Dojima and sobs quietly. It comes to the decision, maybe I should not eat Nanako's cooking. Leon. She's a pretty okay cook, just, you know, she got advice from some other people who may not know how to cook. Uh, <laughs> from a specific game. Who, I think, all of those people are in tag team action except for one right now. Uh, Leon. Doesn't really understand what's happening. Terry Terry tries to get others to notice him. Shinyan and Ibuki's fingers touched by ice and they're both blushed a, just, just blushing a little bit, just a little bit. That's Ogami. It's looking magical today. Makoto's gone. Ibuki looks cool in that dapper suit. Kokichi is now wearing a wizard robe as well. Hilda is being adorable as always. Taichi tries to kill Kotoko, but her died. That knight's armor, don't forget, it's doing work for her. Uh, maybe not as much work as we thought. Kai looks like he's on the verge of snapping. Kazuha juggles with that grenade wanting to use it. Hiroko sees Venti helpless in a trap and promptly shakes him. I'm sorry, stabs him repeatedly with a tree branch. Oh, that's right. He got trapped! He got trapped last round! And coward Hiroko came through and stabbed him with a tree branch! I was like, when did Vinci get trapped? And I was like, he did get trapped last round, my gosh! That's ruthless, Hiroko! I guess that's the- she got a cowardly kill. Ranger. Looks really good in that bikini. Kotoko tries to invite Kokichi to share pancakes with her. Kokichi accepts only to kill Kotoko while she's enjoying the breakfast feast. I cannot believe that. For shame. For shame. Mai is gone. Celeste pops her own balloon. She has the creepiest smile on her face. <laughs> Chisa patrols diligently. Kanji finds some tactical combat gear. Jin still can't believe that Celeste is a murderer. And Celeste tries to kill Kanji. Who's <laughs> like, I can't believe you killed someone. And she tries to kill someone else. <laughs> that might be the intro. Oh man, but first it is indeed a Claire de Lune for Ningguang, Fischl, Kanan, Dojima, Fuihiko, Izioi, Venti, Kotoko. 26 more. 16 until you're saving grace picks. We've lost 40 already. We're now well past the halfway point. And we could dilly and dally here for a, a minute, a, a minute, a moment. Uh, um, um, amendment? Look! Let's go! <laughs> Was I trying to combine the words minute and moment? Yes! Did I do a great job at it? Heck no! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> to the next round! And we see that Kana has some ghost power. So does Celeste, actually. So does Celeste, never forget. Cheryl wonders if he should build a machine that makes Yakiniku. I think he should. 
Kanji is still looking down where tactical in that combat gear. Sucrose is still the biggest hero of them all. Shinyan thanks Ibuki for being there for it. Jin's still crying. He's sobbing, sobbing, and crying. Date waves at Iris, but Iris chases him off while shaking her fist. Yui builds a machine that might revive Kizakura. Electricity surges through Kizakura's body, making a move again. It did happen. Yui is a genius. But Celeste now has Rock on her side, the power of Rock, the power of Geo. She's got a Geo vision. She is ready for the next the next update on Genshin. That, that's gonna be a Geo update, I swear to you, and I'm gonna love every second of it. Chisa is patrolling vigilantly. Kizakura feels himself unsure of what happened. Guess he's alive again. I guess so. Ranger has a horrible feeling in his chest. Taichi tries to build a tank out of sticks and rocks. It's useless, but it sure looks cool. Kokichi looks for someone dumb enough to believe him. Teru Teru, you are having a game, Kana. Teru Teru wishes you could go home. Taka's got some other scraps. Kai's frenzy. Monokuma is looking around maniacally seething. Kana's having a game because not only does she challenge Kokichi and, oh, I'm sorry, child challenges Kokichi and Kana to a duel of anything goes pancake eating competition, and Kana's just like, well, if I can't eat more pancakes than you two, then I guess I'll have to murder you and then just eat one. And they're like, wait, what? And then they're both dead because Kana is not playing games today, apparently. <laughs> and maybe she won't be playing games in the World Pancake Championship either because well, she's there now. Good for her. Hilda. Picks up rubber, looks neat and cool lying in various places. Samugi has a handgun and she aims it in the distance. Date can't take his eyes off of Teru Teru. Ibuki's ready to defend those friends. Leon finds a dapper suit, puts it on. It's rather fetching, in fact. Hiroko eats something she shouldn't have and she dies of horrible stomach pains. Kazuichi tosses, tosses that grenade! He tosses the live grenade at Samugi, who is instantly blown to smithereens, and Fatsugami finds us all below his concern. We lost another four. But we also got one back after this terrible turnabout. I'm sorry, this just declared a little four. Child. Kokichi. Hiroko. Samugi. We're down to 23. We're less than a standard size game and less than the game that we had yesterday now. Geek ball action, which was a very interesting ending. What will happen here, though? This could be a very interesting ending, too. We have 23 people left. Kana's putting on a clinic today, apparently. How many KOs does Kana have? I'm sorry, we gotta check real quick. She's got four. She's not popping off as much as I thought she was, but she's got four against pretty pretty big names, if I'm being completely honest. Um, but I do think she's leading in KOs right now. Yeah, without a doubt. Without a doubt, she's leading in KOs. Can she add more to her record? Her list? <laughs> her brutal list of, of, of death and despair? Maybe. Or was this just commentator's curse? And is she about to find herself six feet under? Let's click next round and find out. No, she's adding to her list. <laughs> Date's determined to survive this. Uh, Kazu, I'm sorry. Kizakura is like, you know what? Thanks for bringing me back. Here's some junk that I found. Uh, Kanji challenges Hilda to a duel. Kanji bites the dust. You don't challenge Hilda. That's Hilda, man. You know, Hilda, Hilda. Yeah, no, you you don't challenge that girl. Ranger flounces a bikini in front of Taka. This makes Taka absolutely jealous. Joe's dead. Leon reminisces about Ningguang. Sobs. She's adding more to the. Oh my gosh, there's so much orange. <laughs> what happened down here? <laughs> Kazuo attempts to kill Kizuko, uh, but Yui intervenes just in time. Yui had to kill Kazuo to protect Kizuko's life. Rest in peace to that man. Teru Teru tries to kill Kana, but Kana retaliates and kills him instead. Ibuki is being adorable as always. She's been vibing this game. Chiro attempts to kill Celeste, but Jin intervenes to protect her. He was avoiding her this whole game, but he was like, no, <laughs> not Miss Celeste. Protects her and saves Celeste. Rest in peace to Jin, though. Tatsugami's looking magical today. Before he dies <laughs> in a fit of frenzy, but we'll get to that. Kana possesses Dante, walks him right off of a cliff. Shinyan tells Iris to have a nice day. Iris screams, don't tell me what to do before killing Shinyan in a rage. That anger, I'll tell you what. Could be good, could be bad in these games. Taichi doesn't really want to, but finds himself having to get rid of Hilda, Hilda, Hilda. In a fit of frenzy, Monokuma creeps up on Fatsugami and snaps his neck. Celeste summons stones around Sucrose's feet. Sucrose is now trapped. Yu is cooking up a genius idea, raging fairy grasping his chest. Kai is frenzy. Gross over, overpowered. His heart gives out. Poor lad. Poor lad. Chisa loses their burst of heroism, and Sucrose is still caught in that trap. 
You better hope that there's not anybody who's uh <coughs> feeling a little bit cowardly today, Sucrose. We are down to 14. 14 remain. Four more until you're saving grace picks. 13 more until we have a winner. But for right now, it's just a clear day loom four. Kanji. Kazuha. Teru Teru. Jin. Date. Shinya. Hilda. Batogami. Kai. 14. Yeah, we'll check their statuses once we get to the top 10 or less. But for right now, we gotta see four more perish. Some people are having games now. Other people other than Connor are having games now. We've seen protection from Jin. Can Celeste carry on from him? We have, we have like little bitty storylines going on in these games now. In this game specifically. Chis is no longer feeling heroic. But I'll tell you what we are feeling in the next round. We are almost at round eight. 66 people were here, but we're gonna lose even more. Maybe. This might actually just be <laughs> round 8 starting a little bit peacefully. Round 8 begins with Ranger. Can't wait. She, Ranger just, he, he can't wait to kill again. He's like, oh, you know what? I'd, I'd love some more bloodshed on my hands. Leon fails to grasp the gravity of the situation. Taichi can't help but admire his own genius mind. Iris finds a suit of medieval armor. It gleams with a dazzling shine. Oh, I almost called him daddy. I almost did it of my own volition. Oh my gosh. Monokuma. He's maniacal, seething. He's he's mad. Um, he's frenzied rather. Crazy Oko is gone. Uh, Kana befriends a Komodo dragon. Put on just a fair aviator goggles. No, I don't love it. She's having such a game too. But oh my gosh. Celeste summons a shield, protecting her from Taichi's attack. Celeste then causes the ground beneath Taichi to cave in, burying him alive. Sucrose eats something he shouldn't have and dies of horrible stomach pains. Neat. Kizakura just found a wrestling singlet. Kizakura casually forgot. Any warnings that about trying moves at home that he shouldn't do that. Chiro tries to kill Iris with an ice armor, diverts the blow. Ibuki's had enough, she's now enraged. Something inside of Chisa is making her heroic again. Her fit of heroism was like, oh, well, you know, maybe not. But now she's like, oh, oh, yeah, it's time. I'm feeling rather heroic once again. And Yui never wants to kill anyone ever again. We are down to just a dozen folk remaining. And after this, Claire, they loom four. Taichi. Sucrose. We're down to 12. Hmm. I think we just gotta... We gotta go on, don't we? Don't we? The next round down there? It's only two more until you're saving grace picks. We'll probably get there. Or it might end as I click next round. Probably won't. I would be surprised. But we do see round 9 beginning with a whole bunch of orange and we will definitely be within your saving grace picks. Round 9 begins as Kana sticks her pet Komodo dragon on Chihiro. The beast has a feast. Iris can't handle the stress of losing a teammate and has now become more cowardly. Celeste uses the power of Geo to summon a massive rock in the sky. That's the power of aviation and rocks. <laughs> Dropping it to the ground, killing Leon and Ranger. <sighs> Rest in peace to Ranger. The dead husk of Dimitri is writhing with maggots. So is Yukiko's. And you know what? Fatogami's bringing a little festering too. Abuki's like, I don't know why I'm mad anymore, and just comes down. <laughs> Monokuma looks for his next victim. Yui wonders if she should build a machine that makes Yakiniku. Kizakura clotheslines Chisa with such tremendous force and decapitates her. And Aiko's gone. We lost four this round, we're down to your final eight, which means after this, Claire de Lune 4. Chihiro. Leon. Ranger. Chisa. God, I love saying ranger <laughs> i'm glad the rangers in the champion the pancake championship match but i'll tell you what we're at your final eight and you know what that means your picks might not have done great in fact your picks sucked didn't they didn't they? you can admit it to me they sucked didn't them didn't your picks did suck didn't they? <laughs> unless they didn't in which case good on you this is a big game i gotta make some new picks and so do you or you might not in which case had more power to you you're a, you're a champion you're a legend but for everyone else, there's Saving Grace Picks. As we look on, we see there are just eight people remaining. The first of which, Ibuki from Rock On. She's kind, she's cute, and she's got a dapper suit. Ibuki. I'm glad that that rhymed. <laughs> it's still in. We continue, and with four KOs, Everything's looking real nice. 
with one person remaining in Cat Owner's Paradise. It is Celeste. She's got Geo on her side. What will she do? I don't know. As we go on, there are six people remaining. Iris, who's feeling a little bit cowardly. But she's also mad. That's a dangerous combination. She's got three kills to her name. Could she win for the Unstoppable Idols? As we proceed, Seeking Justice, the Pancake Champion, is taking out two people, and he's still got the title belt. Could he use it for a quick win? Moving on with Seeking Justice. To the title match? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. But as we go on, we still see the entirety of the KPA because of Yui's quick thinking. Yui was able to bring Kizakura back, and now they have the best chance of anyone. Could they come in on top? I don't know. But Monokuma's was trying to watch this entire world burn. Still in with three KOs. But that's not the story of this game. Small little Kana, little meek, little scrappy Kana has taken out seven people. She's got a seesaw, she's got a Komodo dragon, she's got leather scraps, and boy howdy. Her molecules got all rearranged and she's half ghost. She's taken out the mighty Sayaka. She's taken out the princess official. She's taken out the 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 lad Tartaglia. Tartar sauce. Tar Tar Tasmanian to we she's taken out Kokichi, a man who's pretty much done it all in these games. She's taken out Teru Teru, one of the kings of tag team action. She's taken out Date. He hasn't done much in these games, but let me tell you, in his game, he's pretty cool. And she's taking out Chihiro. She's taking out so many notable, notable people, and now... It's your final eight. And we just gotta keep going. Actually, but I didn't actually tell you guys to make your picks. Make them! I'm gonna make mine right now, because we can't dilly and dally, because it was about to be a long one. <laughs> For first, uh, give me Ibuki. And I know why I'm saying Ibuki. Because of yesterday. <laughs> Wouldn't it be a week? <laughs> what a week it would be if yesterday happened and then Ibuki wins today. I'm just saying, that's my pick for first now. Give me Ibuki. Uh, give me, um, give me Yui for a second, because Yui's out here doing work, bringing people back. She's not playing a bloody game, but she's playing a smart game, and that's something I respect. That's something I respect. Uh, and then who else do- I got a guy, gotta, gotta pick Kana. <laughs> Look at Kana! Kana's doing work today. Kana's doing work today. Kana's a smart bet. She might break double-digit KOs if she's lucky. But there's only eight people left. She's got work to do if she wants to get there. Hopefully you've made your picks because I can tell you that these final eight are all going strong. They're all holding tough. They're all walking. Trying to win this whole thing with the same heartbeat, the same determination as that of. A samurai woman. Are you are you ready? No, I don't think you I don't think you heard me. Are you Ready. Let's go ahead. Let's click next round. We will proceed and we will see. Celeste. She has picked up some rats by her side. She no longer is the cat owner's paradise. She is the rat owner's paradise. She's got an army of rats at her disposal. Kizakura is practicing his grappling. Yu is twiddling her thumbs and Monokuma is looking for his next victim. Ibuki reminisces about Shinyan sobs quietly and kind of feeds her pet Komodo dragon a rat. Uh-oh, was it one of was it one of Celeste rats? Uh-oh, uh-oh, let's see what happens next round. Ooh, and Celeste makes her pay for it. In a fit of frenzy, Monokuma creeps up on Ibuki, snaps her neck, and get rid of, gets rid of my pick. You don't love to see that. Yui just wants to be helpful. Kana shoots blast of energy from her hands at Monokuma. Monokuma's unable to survive the blow. And then Kana tries to take out Celeste too, but her rats protected her. They were like, you Fed one of us to your filthy, gluttonous Komodo dragon. All oh, the rats took her out. Kana, you were you were having such a game, and do you know what happened after you had such a game? I'll tell you what happened. You made the mistake of befriending a Komodo dragon. Disgusting and despicable. <laughs> uh, is fun from the shiny of the distance. We're down to five. It's looking real good for the KPA, but most importantly, it's looking real bad for these people. I'm telling, I'm talking about a terrible turnabout for.
Ibuki, Monokuma, Kana. And let me tell you, once again, it's still technically anybody's game. And when I say anybody, I don't just mean the final five. I mean anybody. <laughs> There's still Celeste from Cat Owners Paradise. We're talking Yui and Kizakura. If they don't win, they have a real opportunity to get both members of their team into the Retribution Rumble. That's something that's wild. Uh, Celeste, the KPA, we still have... Who, who else? <laughs> who else is still here, actually? Um... Because really all I'm... Uh, Taka's still here. Taka's just been vibing. Taka's really just been vibing, okay. Uh, as we keep on keeping on... Those two, Taka... No, somebody else is still in, right? Who, who, whom? Whomst? Oh, you, Iris. Iris is still in too. They, they're both lurking. Oh gosh, they're both lurking. That's what's going on. They're both, because they both have lurk. Oh no, oh goodness gracious. I think we just gotta go on to the next round and see what happens. But it is your final five. It is Iris and Taka who are lurking. They are lurking. Iris wants that cowardly kill. And she could get it. It's a low chance. Taka! <laughs> he is jealous. And uh, more importantly, we still have all of the KPA. And we also have... Celeste. And it's those five. And it's what we like to call in our final five. A crisis. A fate. What will happen? I'm not entirely sure. But I can tell you in the next round. We will see. Ooh. Ooh. A double. Ooh. Ooh. This is very interesting. Round 12 begins with Taka getting 5th place, eating something he shouldn't have, dies of horrible stomach pains. Kizakura sneaks up behind Celeste, turns her around, and hits her with an RKO right out of nowhere. This breaks Celeste's neck, killing her. If the KPA wins... If the KPA wins... Then Celeste definitely goes on to the Rumble. If the KPA loses somehow then both of them go on to the rumble this is an interesting moment because first of all i gotta say it's a it's a pretty terrible turnabout for taka celeste because now it is the revived kizakura it is yui and it is iris who's hiding She's cowardly, she's waiting for the prime opportunity to strike. And so it is her, Kizakura, and Yui. I don't know what's gonna happen. But I think it's still technically a crisis of fate. It looks like it will probably, it may be, I don't know. This is very, it's very interesting because if the KPA wins, it would be... Iris, and it would be Celeste. But if they lose, they both go on to the Rumble. That's what's up. That's that's crazy. That is crazy. That's what we're dealing with right now. But we have to click next round to see what happens. Oh, uh, well, well, it, it has happened. <laughs> oh, no, let's, let's look down here for a second. Oh, no, let me, let me switch the music real quick. Because, uh... <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, we have a victor. Kizakura with his wrestling singlet. Struts, he strides, and he sees some pink hair lying in a bush. He sees some cat ears poking out of a bush. And so do you know what he does? He grapples her. He lifts her up. And he suplexes her, and then he suplexes her again, and suplexes her again, and suplexes her again, and suplexes her again, and again, and again, and again, and again, until she has perished. These were not just frequent flyer miles, she took a trip all the way to Suplex City. And Yui just can't help but admire her own genius mind. 
because she brought back the monster that was Kizakura to help her win this game. It's the final two, but we don't need to go on. Instead, we can say that after this terrible turnabout for... Iris. That only one team is left standing and it is such a big game, it is iconic to have both of your players still around. And both of those players belong to the team that has been declared as your winners. And they go on. The beat goes on. And you know what? They can do what they do best and protect the Kirigiris who are in the finale. The KPA, Kizakura, and Yui take the win. Wow. <laughs> the KPA. Once they saw Jin Kirigiri and Kyoko Kirigiri. They knew what they had to do. They were like, we gotta ensure that one of those two takes the title at the end of the season. And do you know how they had to do it? They had to win. Can they get the job done and make sure that one of those two teams wins? Or well, maybe they'll turn their back on the, the Kirigiris and win it themselves? I don't know. In a game where there were no Kirigiris, they were allowed to shine. Yui and Kizakura take this win together. Congratulations to them. Well, congratulations to him, I guess. That's all I can say. But let me tell you guys, um, Kana, <laughs> she popped off today. <laughs> she had eight kills. Celeste had five, and then what? Monokuma and Togami had four. Half of half of Kana's kills. Kana, I don't know. She was she was feeling it today. I was all I was feeling her winning. But you know what? She. She fed a rat to the, uh, to the Komodo dragon, and that's where things really turned around for, unfortunately. <clears throat> Celeste was like, no, no, not today. You're not doing that. Not to her rats. The cat's owner's paradise has turned into the rat owner's paradise, and she will go into the rumble, but we won't say that yet. We won't say that yet. First and foremost, we'll spring up the tag team bracket. And now you can see the K-P-A. They saw no Kirigiris in this game, but they saw two Kirigiris in the tag team finale. And now they want in too. Yui Kizakura. Looking to, looking to protect those Kirigiris. Can they do it? Or will they just win instead? I'm not sure. But I can tell you what I am sure about. And that's who's going on. To the Retribution Rumble. And as of this episode, because both members of the KPA survived, we see Celeste and Iris going on to that tag team rumble match. Celeste now all alone. However, Sayaka is already here, so Iris joins Sayaka. And that is... The current standing for the Rumble, it's once again slowly filling out because this season is slowly coming to an end. We are more than halfway through now. Officially. Big official. Official. Lamal. <laughs> official. Oh man, I've, I'm glad no one's ever made, someone's probably made that joke. And I, um, glad I've never heard it. <laughs> I'm glad I've never heard that joke. Once again, congratulations to the KPA, but also, look, Kana had a game and that's something to talk about. And if there is a tag team fan vote, that might be something that she earns your respect for come fan voting time. I don't know. Just keep her in mind. Because that might be a fan voting category. Look at you. Congratulations once again to Miss Kano. She had a game. But who had a better game? Yui. And I said it from the I said it from the Saving Grace picks. I was like, my heart wants it to be a Buki. But my mind was like, it's probably gonna be Yui because she's been playing a smart game. She played a smart game and she proved that brains and blood. No 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 no. I'm sorry, brawn and blood, no no no. Brain beats it all. Brain beats it all, and Yui devised a plan and she won this whole thing. Congratulations to her. And congratulations to you for making it through this one, because it is time to end it. The World Pancake Championship will probably be the next episode. 
<laughs> not on Thursday or Friday, but someday prior to that. Maybe Sunday, maybe Tuesday, maybe Wednesday. I don't know. But it's not going to be Saturday because that's the world ends with you. Neo, the world ends with you. It's not going to be Monday because let me tell you what that is. It is Fire Emblem Awakening and we have some fun planned on both of those. However, until then, toodaloo. Like crew, World Pancake Championship soon. Next Sunday, we see more OCs. Not this Sunday, next Sunday. But for right now, I'm taking off. Toodaloo, Fly Crew. Thanks for watching.